<clears throat> okay, reviewing Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Now, why would I review a movie that's been out for about 15 or 16 months now? Uh, I don't have much to do, but I enjoy, I really, really enjoy criticizing this movie. It's strangely addicting. It's kind of like uh, the same way I like laughing at The Room, what, the worst movie ever made. That's how awful this movie is. So, this movie is basically a troll job, a, a practical joke on long-time Star Wars consumers, and telling them to let go of the nostalgia, the attachment is bad, and to embrace Rey, the new character, and Kylo Ren, who apparently now is supposed to be a dual protagonist and that's what it is so basically this movie is mad max fury road in space at one mile per hour so maybe the last jedi is not the right title it should be called the last gallon and there's not much to spoil because almost nothing happens there's no time jump from the previous film it takes place literally where the force awakens left off so uh Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams were not on the same page. He actually started making this before they were filming uh, or uh, The Force Awakens. I kid you not. And so he didn't even get to watch a rough cut of The Force Awakens before writing the sequel to it. That's insane. Okay. So all you need to know about this movie is that they're back where we started but worse so this movie hit the reset button not not just hit the reset button but walked like a thousand steps backwards after it because there's only like 15 good rebels left what a disaster uh good job ryan johnson uh and good luck jj abrams i know most people don't care about episode 9 or not gonna see it but i want to see it because th this to me is not the skywalker saga because there are no skywalkers left unless you count the villain, Ben Solo. Uh, this is the saga of the J.J. Abrams versus Ryan Johnson rap battle saga, as uh, Geeks and Gamers put it. So all you need to know is Snoke, Supreme Leader Snoke is dead, and Luke is dead, and Leia is alive in story, but the real-life actress is not with this anymore. That's all you need to know, and so... That's it. Uh, this movie gets a thumbs down and it holds a special place of resentment in my heart because it red pilled me into getting to know what SJW culture is. I didn't know what that was until I criticized this movie and then people started calling me a toxic masculine white male or a fat white male. Uh, yeah, that's insane. Uh, uh, there was, someone actually called me a Russian troll. Yeah. So good job, Ryan Johnson. This is what Star Wars fandom discussion has come to. Accusing each other of being racist, sexist, misogynistic. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I, I think I'm done. This movie gets a zero out of one for me, if that's possible. Okay, okay, okay. One point for beautiful cin cinematography. One point for good acting. Two out of ten. Okay. I'm done.